Hey guys, just got wrapped up on my pawn shop picking tour around. Uh, hit quite a few pawn shops. Didn't pick up a whole lot of things relative to the number of shops I went, but I got some good coverage I'll show you here. A lot of different stores and talking about what will look good, what mostly didn't along the way, what to look for. Um, and I'll share with you the treasures I found. All right, here we go. Well, in order for me to show you guys a lot of pawn shops, I'm going to have to skim over a lot. But there might be some things that I skim over you like, but the reality is 80% of the stuff in pawn shops is cheap junk or stuff in bad condition. But I have my things I like and what I'm looking for. Now here we have a couple of nice PV examples, a renowned 212 and abandoned. All right, looky here, right off the bat, we have a PV amp with a line six. Nah. Here's an old vintage 12 string. Couple of Deans here. That's what I'm really interested in. Let's see what this place has got. With quite a few guitars. Mm. Okay, yeah. It's here in the case. A few pedals. Not bad overall selection for a pawn shop. Dobro. Fender there, I think, is a fake. That blue one. Now, this is a cool strat with the strat on the headstock made in Japan, but they're asking $850, so I'm not going to even mess with it. Oh, a nice seagull. 350 bucks though. Not a bad price if you can get a discount. Epiphone Hummingbird, but it's just feel kind of cheap to me. I'd rather have an Alvarez. Hey, more PV. Little rolling keyboard amp. 250 on sale for 199, 119s I'd say. Not a bad price. We got here a couple bases. Mm -hmm. Just kind of run the mill stuff there. Got a Keith Urban acoustic. No thanks. Oh, some big PVs. PV speakers, 379 a pair. Hmm. Need a bigger truck. Run-of-the-mill stuff for a pawn shop. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, what's that? A gold PV logo. Hmm, haven't seen that before. Looks a little aftermarket. What do we got in the case here? Okay. Some mics, some recording equipment. Ooh, a little tiny orange amp. It's cool, but don't need one of those. Crate mixer, old school, probably from the early 90s or late 80s. Half a trombone. All right, let's see what we got here around the corner. A few basses down low, quite a few guitars. Okay, what's we got here? I'll get a little mini Squire, a little fake Les Paul. Okay, got an Epiphone. Oh, that's a pretty cool bass. Hmm. Not familiar with those. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Nothing really catching my eye here on guitars. What we got for amps? Oh, some big PA speakers. Little tiny silver tone, line six, Behringer. No thanks. What else we got here? A couple pedals. Okay, 
Not really much, though. Yeah. On to the next one. Okay, a couple little base amps. And, ooh, right off the bat, we have a PV Combo 300 base amp. Pretty cool amp. Just not something I need right now. Ooh, over here we got a nice Alvarez Parlor. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, double neck acoustic. Left-handed Squire, no thanks. Epiphone. What do we have here? A few guitars. Yeah, some acoustics. It's interesting there. Wood grain. What do they got in the electronics cabinet? Mics. That's a small PA. Now that is a pretty cool looking top. A cheaper guitar. Agile. Hmm. Some of the guys aren't too bad. Yeah. Nothing really here for me. What's this? Ooh, a PV XXL, but you know, 600 bucks. It's on the high end. I know some of these places, they'll take lower offers, but when you mark stuff really high, I don't even want to mess with an offer. If it was listed around four or 500 and get it for three, I'd get it all day. Ooh, a PV T15. Mm, 500 on sale for 400 still not a deal no thank you hmm this place has a lot of old amps interesting just seeing what you got for guitar and stuff okay appreciate it Roland Rogue it's over here Crate Road Case PA stuff, some dusty drums, and random stuff on the shelf, some kind of empty case. Some old cables, man. This is a pretty crusty shop of all the ones I've seen. This amp's kind of cool. Spirit 50 Roland. Hmm. Now here is a Gibson SG Special, probably 90s or 2000s. They want a $12.99 for it, but for me it's not worth anything over a thousand. Now this place has quite a bit of selection. There's some amps, PV, not one I'm interested in though. A little Ampeg, yeah, that's quite an EQ. Some basses, all kinds of different guitars here, but nothing that really tickles my fancy. Few acoustics. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, I like the red Fender amp. I've had two of those before. Bought them for like fifty bucks and sold them for a hundred. Oh, that's a cool PVPA. I've got two like that already, though. What's behind the cabinet? Oh, full drive two MOSFET. Not a bad little overdrive pedal. It's an old guitar. Hmm, nothing else in there. What do we got here? Okay, a little PVPA. That's just like the one I already had, the blue. I'd like to get my hands on that if I get it for the right price. Okay, it's not a bad telly. Hmm, decent selection of guitars here. It's over here on the left. Okay. Taylor. Dobro. Hmm. It's around the corner here. Some drums. PA speaker. Ooh, a red rolling microcube. I ended up talking her into 70 bucks a piece for the Roland Microcube and that PA mixer, the PV one. So one trick to use here is I offer 140 
And then when she said she accepted, I came back and said, okay, 140 cash, all in. All right, last one. Let's see what they got. Looks like the guitar's in the very back. Here on the left. Hmm. That's a pretty cool Epiphone silver verse there. A couple bases. It's down below. So I had to make a little road trip and thought I'd take advantage of it and hit up a few uh, pawn shops along the way. Along with, uh, I looked at the route where I was going and uh, looked on Facebook marketplaces and Craigslist along the way and bought a couple things um, from some people that I normally wouldn't be able to see for local sales. So between that and the pawn shop, just got a few finds and just had some interesting experiences. I've uh, seen a lot of different things um, in the pawn shop. All right, I just got back from my Guitar Safari, doing a little pawn shop picking. These two items here, actually, I got just off local uh, Facebook sales um, while I was traveling around. But uh, anyways, made some trips to some different uh, pawn shops. Here's the goodies I got. start off here on the left this is a pvt 40 this one actually didn't get to record the uh interactions the first pawn shop i stopped at um but here's one they had it marked for 600 i offered three and ended up selling at four with tax included but as you can see it's got some corrosion here that needs to be cleaned up and obviously new strings which um you need there but still that's a uh, Nice uh, find back here. I love the Roland amps. This is a 40XL. The cool one about this thing is this one has the built-in uh, looper on it. In addition to all the typical Roland effects you might see. And these down here, these are my favorite. Uh, man, uh, if you don't have a little micro cube like this with batteries sitting in the back, oh, you're missing out. I think I got this one and this PV back here for 140 both out the door. So I often do in pawn shops is just tell, you know, offer them a number and then tell them, you know, hey, total tax included. This uh, Studio Pro I got for 85. This uh, Session 400 was a nice file. I got it for 150 with this Univerb 2 uh, PV um, rack effects and this cool, I think it's a volume pedal, made in USA, good rich vintage volume pedal here. So these are amazing amps with nice Black Widow speakers. Um, this guy was clearly a pedal steel player. They said you can see he's got his uh, locations. He likes his settings. So I got that for 150 for all that. Uh, back over here on the on the Roland. Oh, I'm about to look back real quick. Actually, I already forgot. Um, I think I paid um, might have been 100 or straight up for that. The PV ended up for 400, like I said. So. I think overall pretty good deal.